Good morning. Today is August 5th, 2014. My name is Ralph Friedrichs and thank you to another one of our segments. Today we are going to discuss motivational quotes, motivational sayings, motivation just overall. Then we're going to just go into the basic steps on achieving sobriety again and different methods to utilize for uh, treatment. What I'm going to do is I came up with 30 motivational and inspirational quotes for life itself and addiction. Uh, when I say I came up with these 30, these are 30 that I found just looking around and studying and, and Googling. And uh, what I did is then I pasted them onto my laptop so I can read them. And as we read them, what we can do is uh, briefly just go over each and every one. Again, there's 30, so it might be a little time consuming, but let's get right into it. Uh, I know you guys are just as excited as I am because these are truly motivational inspirational quotes that will help you and me daily in our lives not only when it comes to our addiction but also when it comes to just keeping a balanced life number one the difference between stumbling blocks and the stepping stones is how you utilize them a stepping stone is like a step they are pretty well measured evenly if you utilize a stepping stone, it is so much better than running into a stumbling block because a stumbling block will make you trip. So stepping stones, uh, even pattern, steady walk in life is certainly an easier way to do that. So that is a really good uh, quote. Number two, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. In other words, if you face any problems in life, any like the stumbling stone, anything, that is to utilize to do your best, to prove to society, to prove to yourself, and to prove to your addiction that you are above all that. Number three, if you don't like something, change it. If you can change it, change the way you think about it. Just because you don't like what's going on today or yesterday, you can attempt to change it. And if you cannot change it, just change the thought process find another angle to get uh, to where you need to go so that was number three number four is when everything seems to be going against you or me remember that an airplane takes off against the wind what does that really mean that really means is that sometimes when we're against all odds we need to just keep going airplanes go against the wind and it lifts the airplane up so when you're facing odds rise above them and lift yourself up number five obstacles don't have to stop you and they really don't have to stop you if you run into a wall don't turn around and give up figure out how to climb that wall so when you run into an obstacle don't just give up never give up figure out how to solve the problem figure out how to climb that wall Number six, nothing, nothing whatsoever is impossible. The word itself, impossible, is I'm possible. You are possible to do anything you set your mind, including living and dealing with addiction. Number seven, never give up. So many people can be, ir uh, can be responsible for your success, but only you are responsible for your failure. What does that mean? A lot of people can get you and help you become successful, but when you fail, you are the person that needs to take responsibility for your failure. So do what you need to do to be successful, but when you do run into failure, which goes back to number one, that is a stumbling block. Lift yourself up, go against the wind, and raise up, or rise up, I should say. Number eight, it's human nature to start taking things for granted. Again, when danger isn't banging loudly at your door, that's when you take things for granted. We don't need to wait until danger bangs at our door. Because when danger bangs at our door, we need to rise above that. So don't, don't take everything for granted in life. Face every situation with an open mind, with humility, listen and learn number nine 
Even the greatest once was a beginner. The greatest people in the world once had to begin somewhere. Even you can begin, and even you can become great. Number 10, no excuses. 99% of failure comes from people who have a habit of making excuses. Whatsoever, do not make excuses for anything. Number 11, the so-called negative feedback is often love in disguise. You're addicted, you have either alcohol or, and or drug addiction issues, and when people point it out to you, that might be negative feedback the way you're reading it. However, what that is, is your husband, your wife, your father, your mother, your children truly love you and are giving you that feedback so that you can arise above all and make it a better life for yourself and make a better person for yourself. Number 12, the pain you feel today is the strength you feel tomorrow. Today's setbacks will make you a better person tomorrow. It really will. It does for me daily. Number 13, you will get what you want when you stop making excuses on why you don't have it. Just because you don't have a lot of money today, just because you don't have a nice beautiful car today, stop saying to people, this is why I don't have it. What you need to do is strive for your goals, strive for that nice car, strive for a better job, and make it happen. Now, I'm saying all these things, we're going over these 30 things because I truly feel that all my videos, we talk about addiction a lot, which is super important because the purpose of this whole uh, video uh, uh, collection that I created is for addiction. However, we also need to motivate ourselves. Motivation helps uh, live with addiction. So let's go right back to it. Number 14, a heart is a muscle. What do muscles do? When they are torn, they go back stronger. So when you are down in the dumps and you're torn, torn down to nothing, people are just criticizing. Be like a muscle, be like a heart, and grow stronger. Show people that you are above all that negativity. Remember that the guy... Let me go back. Do you remember the guy that gave up? Do you remember him? Neither does anyone else, because that guy who gave up is, is gone. Nobody paid attention to him because he gave up, so never, ever give up. Number 16, I hope the impact of my videos have more value to you than currency. That is super important, because I truly do hope that whoever watches my videos, whoever uses my website, goes on my Facebook, speaks to me, is worth more than any money I can give you. Because the purpose of my videos, the purpose of my helping you is to lift you up above all to help you uh, live with your addiction of alcohol and or drugs. Number 17, no one is immune from addiction. It afflicts people of all ages, races, classes, and professions. There is no selection of alcoholism or addicted people. Anyone can get it. Anyone can be addicted with it. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what color you have. It doesn't matter what kind of house and car you drive and have. It can be in your life. We learn to live with addictions. And number 19, it's not the situation. It's the reaction to the situation. So, yes, you have an addiction to alcohol and or drugs. It's your reaction. It's how you deal with it that makes you a whole person. Do you understand? It's how we react to any situation. Number 20, well done is better than well said. Folks, action speaks louder than words. And this goes back to my previous video where I said to a few of my friends that yes, you told me that you are ready to quit drinking. You are ready to eliminate the drugs in your life but guess what folks you need to communicate with me you need to utilize my methods or AA or check into rehab those are actions you have actions and your reactions to your actions is what I need to see folks and I'm talking to my friends down in Florida Texas and uh, Virginia number 21 man is what he believes 
So whatever you believe in yourself is what you are. So if you truly believe that you're no one, that you're below everyone else, that's exactly what you are. But if you believe that you are someone, that you are better than what you might appear to other people, then that's what you are. Believe that you are better and you are going to be better. Number 22, those who follow the crowd are often lost in the crowd. What does that really mean? If we all do the same thing, we march by the same beat of this song, most of us will not even be noticed. If you're a fish and you're a salmon and you're swimming downstream, be the other salmon and go against the, the current. Do you understand what I'm saying is don't be a follower. Become more of a leader. I know my, my example there might have not been too clear, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Go against what everyone else is doing within limits. Number 23. Life is never easy for those with dreams. Of course not. If you have a dream and, and, and you want it to be better, life will be a little harder for you. So it's okay to dream, but you need to rise above and you need to be better. Powerful dreams inspire powerful actions. Of course they do. Your dream, no matter what it might be, requires you to have a action plan. When I do these videos, I have to go through certain stages to set up lighting, music, reading material that is right now pasted onto this laptop on both sides of my screens so I don't look down and read like this and I do read left, right, up and down. Those are actions. So that's what you need to do. Everything in life, no matter what your dream is, needs an action plan. Again, we are what we think. And that goes back to man is what he believes. We are what we think. If you believe you're a loser, you are a loser then. If you believe that you're a drunk and, uh, and, and, and a druggie, that's what you are. Here's what you need to do. Come up with an action plan and say, yes, I am an alcoholic. Yes, I'm addicted to drugs. But this is how I plan to live with it. These are my steps for actions. We went over the 12 steps on AA and my 16 alternative steps. Those, whether it's AA or mine, are actions. Those are your actions. A rehab center 24-7 is action. They have an action plan for your recovery. Let's go right back to it. Number 26, just be yourself. Remember, I keep telling everyone, God created you and created me to be perfect. God created all of us in the way that He feels we should be. Whatever we take for what God created, in other words, when God created me at birth and whatever my life is now, those are actions that I might have taken to reshape what God created. Be yourself. Be what God created. Remold yourself. Number 27. Maybe other people will try to limit me. And there are going to be people that will limit you. They will try their best. But I don't limit myself. You are limitless. There is nothing you can't do. You can keep going forever. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's so simple. Do not let other people put roadblocks in your journey of life, your journey of addiction recovery. Don't. Number 28. I'm serious about no alcohol, no drugs. Why? Because life is just too beautiful. And that's a quote for, by Jim Carrey, and it's so true. I am serious. No alcohol and no drugs. Because life is so beautiful. Number 29. It's better to risk starving to death than surrender. If you give up on your dreams, what is left? That is so true. What is left if you give up on your dreams? Because if you don't have something to shoot for tomorrow and the day after and next week, what is left? You have reached your dead end, your peak, your dead end. So you need to strive for continuous expectations, higher expectations of yourself. 
that is number 29 and number 30 and then I added another one but number 30 is if you believe it you will achieve it and I tell every person this at the end of my my segments constantly if you believe it you will achieve it a sober today makes for a much much better tomorrow folks that I promise you so those are 30 quotes of inspirational and motivational uh, segments that I found via either googling or just uh, uh, reading uh, some material and I hope to God that even one out of those 30 applies to you um, should anyone ever need to have those 30 on some sort of email or text I'd be more than happy to forward to you so you don't have to constantly go back to the video to catch them uh, before we go uh, a little further, which is into the methods, I need to just uh, touch base on the situation. This individual uh, that I uh, kind of know uh, is going through a terrible time in life, uh, and that terrible time is drug addiction. And this individual, uh, no matter how much we want to try to help this person, is uh, saying no to us. And it's very unfortunate because uh, I think we spoke about this in the previous uh, video about this person who was found uh, unconscious, very close to death, and uh, it took a lot of time and effort uh, on my end and also with a, a person in Florida and then another person in, in another location to find a place that was willing to take this person with no insurance and no Medicaid which is so hard to do but after numerous phone calls numerous emails uh, I was able to, to do this however this particular person will not go into a rehab center uh, to detox totally because this particular person what he wants to do is uh, get an alternative medication while he's detoxing and pretty much what that does it just takes away the drugs out of his system and adds a different drug and, and I just want everybody to kind of uh, uh, pray for this person. Uh, I hope to God that we can do something. Uh, my recommendation to the family of this person, I know the family hopefully is watching, uh, is to do an intervention because if nobody steps in and helps this person now, today, uh, there might not be a tomorrow. Because uh, a sober, remember this, listen to these words, a sober today makes for a, t a, a better tomorrow. So uh, an addicted today the drugs today is not going to give you that better tomorrow it'll give you nothing but darkness in the days to come I hope and pray um, that uh, the family who who has this particular person in their family is watching my video and know this I am here 24 7 for whatever help is possible just remember everything I have told you what you need to do a lot of us are rooting for you and hoping for the best for you. Now, let's get right into it. We discussed in all of the other segments about different methods. There is uh, my methods, uh, which pretty much include my website, which has numerous amount of videos that are created by me, many articles, many other videos, and many other items on there, which are uh, dispensed uh, via my at my website by doctors, psychiatrists, and psychologists. Mind you, nothing on my website other than what I personally created is is recommended or uh, 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 said by me, created by me. It was not created by me. It was created by medical professionals. So please remember that. Uh, should you have any questions on anything you see on my website, by all means get a hold of me and I'll get a hold of the people that actually wrote or videotaped those items. Then you have Facebook, which is uh, also clearviews.info, and then you also have um, my uh, personal contact information. So let's go over that before we jump into AA. My personal contact information is it's Ralph dot Friedrichs at yahoo.com that's r-a-l-f dot f-r-i-e-d-r-i-c-h-s at yahoo.com that's my email phone number is 631-599-0218 website is www.clearviews.info that's c-l-e-a-r-v-i-e-w-s dot i-n-f-o on my facebook it's clearviews.info my business number 
which I only have access to is 844-393-9355. By all means, you can leave a message there. You can also text me on 631-599-0218. So, that is my method. We discussed last week how my methods and my 16 alternative steps to AA's 12 steps uh, are a little different with hopefully the same end result, and that is uh, to live and, and, and conquer um, addiction and just to be sober each and every day. Sobriety is so very important. AA uh, you, is a huge organization. If you feel comfortable with that, I totally recommend that if you're comfortable with that. If you're not comfortable like I was, you felt a little intimidated, you felt uh, it was too much, uh, too structured, it wasn't uh, relaxed enough, then utilize either my method or um, utilize a rehab center, which will go right from AA now to the rehab center. Rehab center is for 24-7 treatment. For the individual that we just spoke about, um, that I totally feel that needs to go to a rehab center, uh, what they will do is concentrate on you, give you 24 hours a day of treatment, seven days a week for either 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. That is what I recommend for this young fella, uh, which he uh, doesn't want to do, and, and I'm sorry that he doesn't want to do that because he really needs to have that done. Not only to live with his addiction, but to save his own life because his life almost came to an end, and any life that is wasted, especially a young life, is a life uh, that uh, is worth saving. Any life is worth saving, but especially young life that's uh, 20 something years old. And uh, what I think this particular person needs is a lot of guidance and a tough love. And uh, tough love is always hard to dispense to either our children or grandchildren, but at the end of the day, it is an effective love. So now we have my methods, we have AA, and then we also have the rehab centers. Now, I'm going to say this again, my recommendation, no matter which method you use, mine, AA, rehab, whatever, reach for your higher power. In my case, that is my God. That is our God. God, again, molded you to be perfect. If you take your own creation that God gave you and remold it into what you feel is what you want, but yet are running into stumbling blocks, running into walls, then please step back, say, God, help me, forgive me. And God will take you back and will remold you back into what he created in the first place. But you need to be that person to, to ask God to help you. Because keep in mind, when we remold our lives, and we think it's better for us, but we see nothing but red flags and problems, God is always standing on the sideline waiting for you to see the light, and God is your light. So ask him for forgiveness, and he will take you back, okay? Then you also have um, Knights of Columbus. You have Lions Club. They all have some sort of meetings, whether it's AA or not. And remember, church is very important, which goes back to God. But you don't physically have to go to church because I do realize there are a lot of people that don't drive that are watching me. A lot of people that don't even have cars. But you know what? On television, every Sunday, there are church um, programs. There's Robert Schuller, Joel Osteen, which is one of my favorites. A lot of my inspiration comes directly from him. So those are things that you can utilize and, and you need to utilize that um, to, to, to keep forward, to move forward every single day. So we have those three methods. Now, with those three methods and then the alternative methods which are not the, the three major methods that I uh, speak about constantly, you need to come up with a structured plan for addiction. What can that be? My way is doing my videos. It used to be once a week. Last week I did six. This week I probably do three or four. It's a lot of work, but guess what? Every time you either keep a journal or you do a video, it is keeping your mind on addiction, on alcoholism, on drug addiction. And by keeping your mind on that, it keeps you refreshed. It keeps the situation in your mind. When I do these videos, when I 
work on my website, when I work on my Facebook uh, clearviews.info website uh, page, that is my continuous education. Just like when you have a profession, you gotta you have to take classes to continuously refresh your uh, your technologies and all that. This is my continual education. When I do my videos, when I do whatever I need to do, continuously reminds me of my addiction, which is alcoholism, and it will remind you of your either alcohol and or drug addiction. So you have to have a game plan. You need to come up with a structured game plan. When we went over my thirty, my, my when we went over our thirty quotes, there was at least two or three quotes that said, "When you run into a wall, climb the wall. When you hit a stumbling block, utilize step by steps." Even the greatest person, whoever it might be, once had a beginning. Every book has a beginning before it has an end. Every life that God created has a beginning which is the perfect creation and has an end. It is up to you to take what God created, what God gave you, which is life itself. It is up to you to take that life and to walk down the path that you choose and every path has two separate paths. You need to choose the right one. And if you accidentally walk down the wrong path, it's never too late to turn around. I did it. I walked down that alcohol path. I kept walking. I kept looking back. I kept maybe sitting on that road of alcoholic uh, alcoholism. I sat on the road, and that was when I said, I'm done. However, I had relapses after relapses after relapses six, seven times. And then I finally, instead of just sitting on that road of alcoholism and taking a break, I finally got up, turned around, walked down, walked back down that road of alcoholism and utilized that other road that I didn't choose in the first place, the road of living with addiction. Those are the channels that you need to utilize. Every life has two roads. If you choose the wrong road, it's never too late to turn around. You can sit on the road like I did, possibly have a relapse, and it will happen. That I can guarantee you. And no matter how many times you relapse, it's 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 a slowdown. In other words, if you had if you drink every day and you relapse uh, and you quit on the Friday, and you relapse on the Sunday, that's two days you gained of no alcohol in your system. And after relapse after relapse after relapse, eventually you'll hit rock bottom. You come crashing down when you just say, "I can't do this anymore." I want my life back and you can take your life back. Take it back from addiction. But when you take your life back, please have a plan of action. Utilize AA. Utilize Rehab Center. Utilize me. Make me your, your action plan. Make, let me work with you. I'm not going to teach you because every day is a learning experience for me, but what I will do is show you what has worked for me for the last year and almost two months. August 22nd this year will be a year and two months. Let me show you what has worked for me. If you don't appreciate anything that I have done and you think there might be a better way, by all means do it. I said this and I'll say it again. It doesn't matter how you work with addiction. It doesn't matter what your action plan is as long as the end result is sobriety. The end result has to be sobriety. So it doesn't matter how you get there. It doesn't matter if you utilize me, AA, Rehab Center, uh, Knights of Columbus, Lions Club. It doesn't matter. What does matter is getting there. Living with addiction. You will never beat addiction. Addiction is within your system. It's in your body. However, there are steps to live with it, to work with it. And you can have a full, balanced, functional life with addiction. The only thing you need to do is learn how to live with it. What are the signs? What are the urges you need to stay away from? What are temptations you need to stay away from? You need to continuously educate yourself on addiction and on recovery.
continue educating yourself with videos like I do. Watch my videos anytime. And my, vi my videos can be copied for your own personal use for YouTube, Twitter, Google, Facebook. You can take those. You can put them on a CD. You can watch them wherever if you go camping watching them. Hell, if you want to, you can even download them onto your phone. So if you happen to be in a bar and you start questioning yourself and you have an urge, look at your smartphone, pop me up, and listen to what I'm telling you. Stop drinking. Stop drugging. You need to stop. Save your life. And if you want to be that selfish not to do it, do it for your loved ones, do it for your wife, do it for your husband, do it for your children, do it for your grandchildren, do it for anyone if you don't want to do it for yourself. Because they truly deserve to have you around forever. And I guarantee you this, when you stop drinking and drugging, today, tomorrow, next week, you will see your days getting better day by day by day, step by step. Take 24 hours at a time, take day at a time, your life will become better. You will see improvement. You will see improvement in, in steps like, in, in ways like this. You will see improvement in feeling. How, what do I mean by that? That means when you wake up, you won't have memory lapses, you won't have um, hangovers, you'll uh, see improvements with skin color, you'll start getting flesh color back again. Your eyes are actually going to show some white instead of being hidden uh, by all that redness. Those are signs that you will see, but don't, and I repeat, do not expect to see everything happen within 24 hours. I'm going to use this example. When a baby is born, before the baby can uh, uh, walk, it needs to crawl. Once it learns how to crawl, it will walk. Once the child learns how to walk, it will run. That is you. When you first accept sobriety into your life and you want to live with your addiction, there are such small steps you need to first go before you can actually walk a steady path. A year and almost two months for me, and I still, and far from, from uh, being a professional uh, person when it comes to living with my addiction, I still have a lot of learning to do and so do you so please folks you need to work with all material educational videos that you can daily not just today and then let it go for a whole week each and every day as a Christian I was taught in church that every day you need to take a little time out time out to spend you and your God, whether it be in the morning, whether it be at night. Well, utilize that same concept and each and every day take a little time out to educate yourself on your addiction. Spend a half an hour either Googling addiction stories, go on the news, look at some of the, the uh, tragedy that goes on all over the world due to people with alcoholism and drug addiction read books, watch my videos, take a little bit of time out of your 24 hours a day, take a little bit of time and, and educate yourself. Remember, it's not a matter of just saying today, I am done with drinking, I am done with drugs, and then not utilizing any, any tools to, to, to get you to where you have to be. If you don't utilize tools, you don't utilize uh, videos, you don't utilize uh, reading material and only utilize simple words it's not going to work you need to have an action for this addiction your reaction to this video is your future action for your addiction plan how you react from this video will dictate how you're going to tackle your sobriety and work with your addiction and I hope your reaction right now to or your impact of this video or any of my other videos is worth more than any currency, any money in your wallet, any money in your bank. Because all that money, all that currency, your house, your car, nothing can save your life. The only thing that can save your life is you tackling addiction head on 
and coming up with an action plan on how to live with it and how to cope with it. The other videos that I did, I, we went over a couple of things on how to live with sobriety, how to work with sobriety, how to avoid stress, all these different things. So go back to some of my other videos and, and view them. Do whatever you need to do to educate yourself on alcoholism and or uh, drug addiction and to work with it. And I welcome anyone to send me a copy of their action plan. I'd be more than happy to give you my action plan because you see my action daily. Or I should say you see my action plan every time I do a video because this is an educational tool. A journal is an educational tool. AA's educational tools. Rehab centers educational tools. I know you know what I'm talking about. Do not just sit back and say I am quitting drinking and I'm quitting to smoke marijuana or doing cocaine or crack. Because words are simply not good enough. You need to work with it. So we've said enough about this. I hope that the impact of this video was uh, very successful uh, for you. If there's anything I can do to help you, please 631-599-0218. Email me at ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. Or you can go on my website, um, page 7. Incidentally, I need to say this real quick. I know I'm kind of babbling on here. We're into 36 minutes already. But on page 7, click on your state that you live in if you want to utilize the rehab center. Once you click on your state that you live in, click on the location that might be near you. Now, if there isn't a location that's near you, then please Google your, uh, in the search bar in Google, just Google addiction centers and uh, your location and you'll find them that way. Please, if there's anything I can do, feel free to help. Uh, feel free to ask me for help. On my Facebook, you can also private message me. There's so many ways to get a hold of me, text me, whatever you want to do. But we need to work together. We are a community and we need to work together. I pray that you have a, a very good week this week. Today is a beautiful day out here in the Hamptons, New York. I pray wherever you are, it's, it's great weather. Um, and I also pray that you have and continuously have sober days. And I want to just remind you, if you relapse, do not go back to the old abuse again. Start again. Dust your knees. Pick yourself up. Start again. Never, ever give up. Don't you dare give up. A sober today makes for a better tomorrow. And if you believe, you will achieve. Thank you so much. Have a great week. I hope to have another video out in a few days. And have a sober day. God bless you.